Hello and welcome to everyone joining us this afternoon, including all those from Blackfriars Primary School in Glasgow, Scotland, UK, and also to Leah's cat, who's called Suti, who might make an appearance soon. I'm Edward Tobias, Professor of Genetic Medicine at the University of Glasgow, and sadly I don't have any pets, so I'm very jealous. It's my great honour to introduce this session, which we're running in partnership with the European Society of Human Genetics. And today we're going to hear about some fascinating aspects of genetics from two of my very experienced colleagues at the University of Glasgow. That's Dr. Leah Marks, who's both a university senior lecturer in medical genetics and a biology teacher at a Scottish secondary school, and also Dr. Maria Johnson, a university senior lecturer in medical genetics. And both of them are very busy award-winning directors of our university MSc genetics programmes which are attended by students from all over the world. I should mention that afterwards we'll, we'll provide a Word file containing all the correct links and also the recording itself. And I'll now hand over to my colleagues. OK, so I'm going to start. I hope you can see my slides. If not, yeah. shout. Um, I'm going to start just by thinking about what is DNA, because we hear a lot about it. So, DNA is like a set of instructions on how to make a human and also how to keep it healthy, how to make it work properly. And this is all in our DNA. So where is the DNA? Well, DNA is inside cells. And just as bricks are the building blocks of houses, cells are the building blocks of people. So, each of us is made of about 40 trillion cells. And I bet you've never even thought about a number that big. And that number is too big for me to think about either. It's, it's a huge number of cells. And each of those cells in our body contains DNA. And the DNA, here it is. And it forms like a really long string. So it's a long string of four letters, A, C, G and T. And that's the only four letters in this string. And each of our cells, each of these building blocks of our body has the same set of DNA instructions. So the same 3.3 billion letters. OK, so that's a lot of letters. Again, it's a huge number. So this is the instruction manual on how to make a human. And it's just made up of these th four letters. So our DNA makes us all very, very similar. Because it's the plans for making a human person. But also our DNA makes us different. So, for example, you can see at the bottom Here's a part of the string of the letters from the human DNA. And just changing one of those letters is what gives some of us red hair. So anyone out there in Blackfriars Primary who has red hair, maybe you've got this change in your DNA sequence. So our DNA makes us all different. And it makes us look different. So if you look around at the classroom just now, you'll see everybody looks different. And that's because of differences in their DNA. Unless, of course, you've got any identical twins, because identical twins have pretty much identical DNA. But these differences in our DNA can make us good at different things. So I'm sure there are some of you who are very good at different languages. And some of you may already speak more than one language. Some of you might be very good at football or maths or very good at music. Some of you can run very fast. Some of you might be good with computers. Some of you might be good at art and design. So we're all good at different things. And this is has a large part. It's based in our DNA. And we get half our DNA from our mum and half our DNA from our dad. 
So we're a bit like our mum and a bit like our dad, usually. And if we've got brothers and sisters, they'll share some of the same DNA as you have. OK, and it's usually about half. And Leah is now going to talk to you about what else we share DNA with. <laughs> 